the root of everything I do, it is people. And it is the fact that so many of our, our systems, and in particular our, our economic systems that have been based on fossil fuel, have done a very fine job of hurting a lot of people, you know, especially really poor people, and in many cases people of color, um, who happen to live in those communities where either fossil fuels are extracted or burned or refined in some way, shape or form. And the work that I do, the kind of businesses that I'm really interested in promoting are those that acknowledge that and at their core literally transcend it so much work that we need to do. I want it to be really easy for people to understand why this is important for them. How do you reduce the amount of most expensive citizens you know, in this country? Um, and most expensive citizens, you know, they're what, what I'd like to call them are, they're people who are generationally impoverished, you know, people who um, are veterans coming back you know, from our wars, you know, people who are um, in and out of the criminal justice system. People that use an enormous amount of social service dollars, you know, and whether it's incarceration or, um, or you know, unemployment benefits or just public health benefits, you know, they're self-medicating a lot and have the impact that has on their lives. Um, and they're not paying for those, those issues on themselves, that, those, that comes as a taxpayer expense. It seems to me when you can create really healthy jobs for our most expensive citizens, then you do two things. One, you add them to the tax base as opposed to them being tax burdens. You know, and two, you, when you do it the way that I'm thinking we sh it should happen, you, when you provide jobs in green infrastructure, urban forestry management, um, wetland restoration, and I think even food production is a part of that as well, then you're also adding to municipal services as well. So you're decreasing social costs as you're also decreasing um, uh, taxpayer burdens as well. I think that the reason why people aren't ecologically aware is because they don't see how it benefits them. It's freaking most people out, the economy, what it means for their livelihood, um, you know, for their kids' health, you know, for, um, for where they're gonna live. I mean, it is, it is always about the economy, always. And, uh, and it's through that lens that I view my work. Because I know if this is freaking people out, and it's then it's that it's for real. You can't move beyond that um, unless you're just, you know, crazy and don't really care. <laughs> but I do. If you can help people see why this is important to them now in their bank account you know, for in, their, in terms of them being able to afford to go on a nice vacation, you know, and buy another flat screen TV. I don't know, I don't care. But that's the, what we have to do. And that's why I think if we can auto help them see right now that by creating jobs, you know, in green infrastructure for our most expensive citizens so that they're not paying for them, that's something I think people really start to go, oh, okay, I can see how that helps me. The environment is actually a part of absolutely everything that we do and that we do have to acknowledge that we can't use it against poor folks around this world, regardless of their color. But, if, but un unfortunately, the more money you, you have, the more you can could sort of stave off the environmental impacts, you know, from the type of foods you buy, to where you live, to the quality of the type of car that you drive. I mean, it, it, the list goes on and on and on. Is that gonna be harder to do in the future? Yeah, but right now, what I'm trying to appeal to everyone's self-interest about is that even if you can drive, you know, like the, the best energy efficient car and you could eat the best food that, that doesn't have pesticides and herbicides all up in it, um, that ultimately you're still paying for those burdens. I think people are starting to understand that the environment is not something that only belongs to rich people. And I think that's gonna be, that's when people are gonna start standing up for it because it means when they do that, they're standing up for themselves, their own communities, their own quality of life. And that's why I get up in the morning. But just imagine a world when every community was doing that. Then the global would be taking care of itself. Just connected. Just, exactly, it would be that. And that's my hope and my dream and my actions. Let's just get it together and figure out how can we support everyone's self-interest around this. And then we can all, you know, feel really good about ourselves. Yeah.
<laughs> cool. That's great.